Hey guys, Dorf Raven 2012 here, and welcome to my little video here of Space Engineers for the PC that's available right now on Steam and on www.spaceengineersgame.com. You can purchase this for $14.99 uh, or 14 euros. And yeah, it's a pretty badass game. You can basically build whatever you want in space. You can mine the asteroids for resources. So you can uh, craft more stuff and all that. Right now it's still an alpha, so there's a lot of stuff that still needs to be added and a few things that need to be fixed. But so far I haven't encountered anything that bra or broke the game or whatever. Everything's working as I think it's supposed to. So um, you start off near that red ship like you've probably seen in previous other Space Engineers videos. But I decided to take a little shuttle, which I land there and uh, build my own sta station here. So I built this part here. I built my little, this is my first giant ship that I built that has a few turrets here, a few missiles, and of course all the engines, which I'll demonstrate here in a bit. So let me uh, just show you guys my space station here. It's still under construction. There's a lot of things I want to do with this. And I hope the multiplayer will be added very soon so I can play this with my friends, see what they're going to build on these other asteroids, and maybe we'll work together and build a space city or something like that, something really cool. So yeah, the game does look pretty amazing. It's not very demanding on the hardware whatsoever, so if you have an older PC, you should be able to run this. So yeah, it really looks amazing here. So this is another shell. This is the first shell I actually took, and I saw this asteroid was shaped like a U with a few... Um, cavings to go inside an asteroid so I was like you know what this seems to be a great spot to build my own little station here so let's do this so the controls definitely took me a while to get used to uh there should be gravity on here since so yep there we go you have to build a gravity device to have gravity in certain locations so that's why I built here so that's why this is not floating off and I'm not floating off build some turrets here so uh just in case we have some invaders landing here, they get blasted to Kingdom Come along with the turrets up there for some self-defense. So I'm definitely trying to make this uh, kind of a military base slash civilian base. So before we go to that end here, uh, actually never mind, let's go to this end first here. So I mean this is still under construction like I said earlier, here let's zoom in, let's go first person. You can play this in further first person which is cool, so whatever you prefer you can go with it. So, uh, let's let that end here. Uh, yeah, so here's another uh, gravity device to make sure that we still have gravity here instead of floating off. I put some lights up here, you know, those awesome lightings. I think that's another thing they have to add here. You have the door controls here, but the doors won't close yet. That still has to be added, which is going to be pretty cool. And again, some turrets here for defense. Some nice little uh, window shutters here so you can look outside, which is pretty cool. More turrets, and this is the section I still have to uh, continue on working. I put some uh, ramps here as uh, locking this area off. So that's still under construction. Let's keep going here. I built this nice little hall here just to make it feel more futuristic and all that. I can't fill this whole gap yet. I'm not sure if they're gonna fix that or not. Oops. Here I had to uh, use my jetpack because I got stuck there for a second. Uh, turn the thing off. There you go. Wish I could fix, uh, like, gap them, but for the moment I can't. Uh, yeah, more shutters, more turrets here, just in case. Um, I put a few turrets here, because this is supposed to be a somewhat heavy protected area here, and you guys will find out in a second why, because of this, another gravity device. And, uh, yeah, this is my giant power generator. So we have power running in this place here. You can access it and uh, turn it off. And if you turn it off, obviously the lights will go all off and everything else that requires power, which is pretty cool. So that's this part of the space section, uh, space station section, my bad. So let's check out the other areas here. Jump. Jump. Well, I mean, so far I think I did a pretty good job at it. I know there are other people out there who are probably a lot more talented than I am, but you know what? That's the cool thing about this game. You just build whatever you feel like building. That's what I loved about Minecraft. Well, this game uh, has better options to build because you can actually uh, build triangles and stuff like that and build more of what you want to. And You can actually build your own vehicles, which in Minecraft you kind of can't. You've got the mine cart and all that. In this one, you can actually build your own ships and shit like that. You could probably build a giant uh, floating space fortress, 
which I might do. I, I really just, I, I really cannot wait for the multiplayer. I mean, that's something they should ship out real fast here because once the multiplayer is out, I mean, I guarantee a lot of people will be picking this game up and just having a blast building shit together and just out of ramming their ships and stuff together or whatever because this game also has physics. So if I ran this ship in, it would totally get wrecked and put a dent in my station or even fuck it up depending on uh, how good the material and how well you build your station, which is kind of cool. Put a little ladder here so you guys can also go up. Uh, interact was with T, right? Yep, T. Space. The final frontier. Not... And upsidaisy. So yeah, we got my turrets here defending my base. I made sure there's one in this angle, one in that angle, and there's another one over here. Some missiles just in case somebody decides to go smart on me. An antenna, which I'm not sure what this might be good for. Maybe later down they'll update so you could put a radar or something in the station so you can see uh, what ships are incoming or whatever. Maybe add a little uh, uh, alarm system where you can put some alarms on the ceilings and stuff like that. That'll glow red like you see in a lot of horror movies and all that stuff like that. So let's jump down here. Don't feel like climbing down the ladder. So uh, again, another turret here just to prevent invaders that aren't friendly to get blasted. There as well. I made sure it was heavy defended. Again, a bunch of cool little uh, windows here to look outside, check out space and all that. Which will be pretty badass too once this game again will have multiplayer. So you can see uh, other crafts flying by or people probably invading or something. Those are two things this game definitely needs to add fast. Well, not super fast. I don't want it to be totally rushed and not work at all, but I definitely want this to come out as soon as possible because I know a few friends of mine are holding back from getting this game until that feature is available. So I hope they add that soon. So uh, definitely multiplayer so I can build and fuck around with my friends like on Minecraft, which I spent hours on just because it was so much fun. And maybe uh, random alien NPCs trying to invade or whatever, so you always have something keeping you up on your... T uh, on your toes or whatever. Probably fuck that saying up somehow. Again, another turret here to protect me. So you do see the bits of the asteroid here, which I uh, try to build over, which does look pretty cool. It definitely looks like there's some construction going on. Another turret here. Here's my small uh, power generator and another gravity device. Let's go further down here. There we have another turret. There also, just to make sure. Nobody's going to come, uh, come through my hangar bay that I built here, so here's a giant hangar bay I built from our spacecraft land here. I made sure this yellow point is marked where you can land your ships. And this hangar bay is big enough to fit my big ship here that I built. This is my very first built ship ever, so please don't judge me too hard on it. I was just trying to fuck around and see how that works, and it works pretty much like you would building a building. Some random uh, cargo uh, boxes. That I just put around to make it feel more like a hangar bay and all that. And again, a bunch of window shutters so you have a nice little sky roof, which I personally think is pretty cool. And you have these um, light reflectors, which uh, I'm not sure how they work. I don't think they uh, updated that yet, so they would work. I'm not sure. Maybe somebody knows how to work them. Just leave a comment down below to let me know. And yeah, let's check out my ship there. Oh, it seems like that red ship's getting closer for some reason. There you have the blue one, there's the red one, and, uh, well, that's Crouch, or I think I got my, yep, my jets are on. So I put a few engines here, I put a few down there so it can go up and down, left and right, etc. So here, uh, yeah, let's check out my ship from the outside a little bit more. Again, it has, uh, two missiles here, a few turrets for the front, left and the right, to make sure I'm somewhat well protected. Like, it, like I said, it's my first ship here. It's not uber geared yet. It was just, I would call this like a small exploration spaceship for defense and all that. Like light defense. It's not meant for war combat yet. Basically, this is my ship of humanity's first space exploration slash building. Personally, I can't wait. I like. I don't know how many times I have to mention this, but I cannot wait for the multiplayer to be added because I would like to see my friends build their shit over here or there or somewhere out there. That would be just so entertaining to play this with multiple people. So let's check out the inside of my ship here. So uh, here's a 
gyroscope. Again, I'm not sure how that would work. And again, a few turrets just for uh, some random invaders. I hope they have the door so, uh, too soon so I can close them. And when they blast it open, they get blasted by my small little turrets. Should probably put two more like up here. Again, the lights are off because I got the uh, power turned off. Here's another uh, power generator and uh, another gravity device. So this ship has free power generators, like free small ones, but it'll definitely uh, give it enough power to move around. Here's my little cockpit. Let's jump right into this. Uh, let's turn the engines on, or the power, I would say. There we go. It's, uh, what button was that again? That was Y. Probably Z for you uh, US guys out there for the US keyboards. In Europe, it's why. So as I, as you guys can see, I turned the power on my ship. The lights are blinking. Everything is nicely turned on, which is pretty cool. I definitely like the feature that you can turn the engines off. All right, let's move my ship around. As you guys can see, the engines on the right are turned on because I'm trying to move it away from my space station there. And let's move the ship around a little bit. So I realize the big ships don't have a first person view yet. Maybe we'll add that later down the road, but the small ones you can actually go inside the cockpit and maneuver that stuff, which is pretty cool, which I always like about Space Sims or any uh, game really. I prefer the cockpit view over anything. You can zoom out all the way if you want to. And if I want to, I can crush my little badass ship against the red one, which is already there at default with the blue one. And the cool thing about this game also is you can pick out what kind of colors you want. So uh, I made the ship uh, black, even though I should have probably made one that's um, green, since that's my favorite color. So yeah, this is pretty much Space Engineers. I pretty much hope you guys enjoyed this video here. I'll crash the ship and end it right there then. But yeah, it's a pretty fucking cool game. Has nice little physics, which I'll probably show off right now once I crash my giant ship. And you can build wherever you want. And I definitely would ha recommend this game to anybody who loves Minecraft and loves space. Those are the two things I love, building whatever I want, and I love the environment in space. And once the multiplayer is added on, you're, it has to be a must. Well, it must, it must be a must buy once they add that. Oh, shit. Boom. Oh, damn. There goes the cockpit of my ship. Damn. Yeah, let's check this out, guys. So my ship has been heavily damaged in the front. Though this ship's almost fucking ripped in half. Oh yeah, I put some landing gear on my ship too so I can actually land this, but since the cockpit's gone, this ship is totally wrecked. Unless I fix it. So my ship almost uh, smashed it halfway through. It just has this one section left. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I definitely like the physics in here and the destruction. It's very cool indeed. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video here. I'll put a link down in the description where you can buy this game. I'll be putting the Steam page on there and the official website. It's $14.99. I would definitely say it's worth grabbing, especially once they add the multiplayer on here. And yeah, until next time, I guess. Peace.